We are about 10 minutes away from the start in this magnificent uh, marquee tent here in uh, Central Square of uh, Bukit Lawang, a tourist town in North Sumatra, which is famous for the Orang Utan Natural Reservation Camp, which is just across the river and where the runners will be running. We're going to be taking a look here. Here, Stancy, event director of uh, Bukit Lawang. This is Chris Timms from Singapore. Chris, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing okay. I, made, I managed to get here okay last night, so all good. It looks like a great race. We're really well coordinated, so excited. Chris Timms was one of the late arrivals last night. Um, we are about four hours away from the airport in Medan, third biggest city in Indonesia. And as you can see, it's getting brighter and brighter. It's uh, dry now. But for sure, the trails in the jungle will be muddy. Let's take a look at some of uh, the other protagonists in the race. We see also Alex Tilly here. He's the winner of V-Trail in Laos earlier this season, and he was also sixth in Cook Fong, 42K in Vietnam. This will be his third race of the ATM season, and uh, if he finishes with a decent result, he will actually be leading the ATM ranking overall, because he will be the first of the, let's say, elite runners uh, with, uh, with three races in the pocket. And um, here we has Ron from Malaysia. She's originally from Philippines. She will also be leading the ATM ranking if she uh, scores a podium finish today. How are you doing, Ruan, today this morning? I'm feeling great. Nervous. <laughs> this will be your third race of the ATM season. Um, you're not tired yet? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> you're doing a lot of races, I mean. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> All right, good luck. Here we have Fuminori Kondo. <laughs> Fuminori, how are you doing this morning? Yeah, I'm fine today. This is actually the winner from last year. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Vanya, good morning. You made it. We were just wondering where you were. I just uh, arrived here. Yeah. <laughs> All good? Good night? Okay, night. Yeah. Um, what do you expect of this race? I mean, you said yesterday that um, you still have some problems with your knee. Uh, yeah, I have a little bit pain in my knee when I go up and down, but running flat is okay. There will be some up and down in the second part of this race, though. Yeah, so, um, yeah, probably when I'm racing, I don't feel pain because I'm excited and I'm adrenaline. Um, Jose Luis Alvalais is also here, um, the Mexican living in Hong Kong, who's also already been competing a few times. And more and more runners are doing that now, uh, scoring points for a second time or third time. And that will help them get qualified for the ATM final this year, which will be in Indonesia as well, as we announced earlier in the week. The ATM final this year will be uh, Sixorogo Lawu Ultra in central Java in Karanganyar, that's uh, close to Solo, also, known, also named Surakarta. And that in itself is very close to Jogjakarta. So for international runners, Jogjakarta is uh, where you will most likely fly into. Unless you fly to Jakarta or Bali first, then you can take a domestic connection to Surakarta. Sixorogo Lawo Ultra is uh, 77 kilometers long and um, the event director is Rahmat Septianto. Um, the race director Furconi Siabana and both of them are very well known on the ATM circuit. Um, experienced runners and last year that event because it's actually the first time it will be part of ATM as well um, had 3,000 runners and that makes it the most popular Indonesian trail running event alongside Tahura Trail in Bandung in terms of participant numbers at least And these are the leaders at around uh, seven, eight kilometers, Chris Timms, and one of two uh, local Sumatra runners of whom we have not yet found out the name. I said it in the live broadcast of the start, um, in a place like Sumatra, we're always gonna find out new local talent. This is the second runner from uh, Sumatra here, and he will actually catch up with the other two. Uh, by the uh, first aid station, two kilometers further down the further down the path, we are in a Malaysian plantation here, palm oil plantation. The first uh, part of this uh, race is very runnable indeed. This guy comes from Australia, originally uh, Filipino, but uh, lives in Brisbane already for a long time, and he has Australian citizenship. His name is Mananakbo Washington. And here we have Timo Kilbert, third last year, and Jose Luis uh, Alvalais, a Mexican from 
Hong Kong, they are running together in this first runnable part of the race. The first uh, woman in the race, and it is of course Vanya Knops uh -huh, good, Vanya. from Belgium, living in Singapore already for a long time. And these are the two Sumatra runners and they are still in the lead. Um, looking very good, just like last year. Remember last year the 42k candidate race was also won by a uh, local. Buddy. Now it begins, Chris. Awesome. <laughs> hey. Hey, guys. Hey, well done.
here we have the winner of Bukit Lawang Orang Utan Trail, 50 kilometers, and it's one of the local runners from Sumatra. It's either Andre or Edwin. We are not really sure. I guess we will find out in a second. Fantastic performance by this youngster, and uh, the gap was made only in the last three kilometers. We just uploaded a video on Instagram showing that. Congratulations, yeah. Jeffrey, yeah, like Rudy, rising star. I think. Rising star. Yeah. Do you know who he is already? Uh, not yet. Okay. Let me find out. Army, from Army. So I think this one is, will be the new rising star, especially here in Bukit Lawang. So uh, amazing achievement. I think his uh, finishing time will be under six hours. And there is indeed a second place. So in, as in the end, the gap is still quite, um, quite large, considering they were almost still together three kilometers before the finish line. So here is number two, also from uh, Sumatra, also a military uh, person and a nice jump. Not quite a Kitamura karate kick, but still a nice jump. And his name is? Uh, Moses Sinaga. Eh? Yeah, Andre Moses Sinaga. Andre, Moses Sinaga. Andre congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. you speak some English? No, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So at the end of the day, the gap between the two local boys and Chris Timms remain the same in the jungle. I would have expected uh, just like last year that the Sumatran uh, guys would uh, lose a bit of uh, terrain, would slow down but they didn't today. Chris Timms congratulations third place nice podium. Thank you uh, Chris tough race actually yeah a race of two halves road Really nice, 30k, flat, quick. And then you, you called it, mate. The um, Yeah, get serious about 30k. So elevation, very muddy today after the rain last night and uh, couldn't descend as well. But the two guys, these guys, wow, so fast, so fast. I couldn't keep with them. But um, awesome race. Well done, everybody. Great job. You should be really proud. Uh, what a lovely, um, lovely village you have as well. Well done, everybody. I lost a lot of speed going down today. Uh, Bad shoe choice, they just packed with mud and the lugs lugs uh, didn't do me any favours, so yeah, I was sliding everywhere, but credit to these guys, they, they they ran a really good race. So Final quick question, the rafting, how was that? Mate, the rafting, the rafting, there's probably some hilarious uh, yeah, pictures of me trying to yeah, trying to get in the raft, but yeah, that was that was an adventure, that was an adventure, actually, I, I wasn't expecting that, but thank you for getting me across safely, everybody was amazing, all the volunteers are awesome, but yeah, great race. And here we have the uh, female winner of the uh, Bukit Lawang Orangutan Trail. It's uh, Vanya Knops, of course, almost, shall we say, from Belgium, but now residing in Singapore. Vanya, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Amazing. How was it? Awesome. I really loved it. Yeah. Beautiful jungle. Yeah. Alexander Tilly suggested that you may have taken a wrong trail somewhere. Is that correct? This, yeah. <laughs> For how long? I think less than one kilometer. 